Welcome everyone. It's me, Sharon Mudgett with Solana Innovations, and I'm really delighted to be here with you today. I, you know, I can't believe how many of you are showing up. Um, I want you to know that with me today is Ben. Ben works with me at Solana Innovations. And um, as we go through this amazing new launch and all the information that is going to be given to you, you may have some questions. And so don't be afraid to put those into the chat feature so that Ben can relay those questions to me. However, I do want you to know, I will be answering so many of those, those questions as we are moving through this presentation. Um, and so we're gonna hold off a little bit on answering some of those. And then towards the end of the event, Ben will unmute himself. And if there are very specific questions that need to be answered, we will do so. Are you ready to learn all about this new brand called Latitude? All right, so let's talk about the launch of this new brand. So this is the, look at how beautiful this product lineup looks like. I don't know if we have ever put out something that is this enticing to the customer. And I think that what's really interesting is the history that's behind this and all of the efforts that it took with Great Clips and Salon Innovations to bring this to your salons, to bring this to your customers that are sitting in the chair. So let's talk a little bit about some of the history. In 2022, we did some mail research, and this was done by Great Clips, Salon Innovations, and Orman Guidance. And what we did was we dove deep into the minds of the mail customers. We had 30 quantitative respondents in this, um, in this study. We had focus groups. We had interviews. We had video diaries from the customers. 932 survey responses. Many of those came from Great Clips customers. This was from all different age groups and varying work categories, income amounts, and education levels. So definitely, we really heard from a very wide range of the male customers that are out there. So what did we gain from this? We had four amazing key takeaways that really inspired and were the backbone behind this brand. Let's go through those four key takeaways. So the first one was about ingredients, sustainability and fragrances. I never thought that the male customer was that connected to this, but what we found out was that he was influenced by ingredients in the product, especially vitamin B, coconut and tea tree. Also, he is really interested in sustainable packaging. And I'm gonna talk about that a little further on in this presentation. The other thing that was so surprising to me was how much the male customer wants a variety of products, fragrances, aromas, and textures. And it, it was interesting because when I got to look at some of the, um, the research, they had men take pictures of their bathrooms, they, what were on their you know, sinks and countertops. And I was shocked at the amount of product that the men have. Why is this? Because really it kind of depends on what he's doing. If he's gonna go out and play, you know, he doesn't want anything that's too heavy or that's gonna run in his eyes when he's doing sports. Um, if he's gonna go out for the evening, he wants to look a little bit more polished or a little bit more trendy. So he wants this wide variety of products so that he can actually feel really confident in his look. 
Next, we have product usage and purchases. So men purchase salon products that are re re recommended by a stylist. Yes, you heard me. Yes, yes, yes. The stylist is the number one influencer to the male customer. And I think that some of us might be surprised by that because I know that sometimes in our chairs, we have experiences with our customers where we're going to start talking about retail with them and it doesn't really go anywhere. And I think that we need to keep in mind that we are the professionals, that we are their influencers, and that we have a lot of impact on what it is, but we need to be able to give him the information that he needs. Why does he need this product? How is it going to help him? Instead of just recommending a product, dive a little bit deeper to find out if he has any wants or needs or concerns that's going to back your recommendation. He believes that Great Clips products are as good, if not better, than over-the-counter brands that can be found in drugstores. Also, product performance is very important to him. If you're telling him that this is a lightweight product, then it needs to be a lightweight product. If it's a product that you're saying is going to give him great control, that's what he wants is great control. So this is what's influencing his purchases. Next, let's talk about packaging. Packaging is really important because the male customer wants something in his bathroom that kind of reflects him and who he is and his personality. They are more interested in darker, masculine packaging. And the thing that was so interesting was we found out that they want really straightforward packaging. When they pick up a product, they want to look right at the front of the bottle and they want to know exactly what it is. They're not going to turn the bottle over and read all of the fine print. That's not what they want. They want ease. They want it to be able to identify right away whether it's something that he feels he needs to put at home in his product lineup. And then the last one was that they want a variety of products and experimentation. You know, men, multiple options for hair care and styling are important to him because again, as I already talked about, kind of depends on what he's doing and where he's going and how he wants to look. They like to experiment. And that experimentation is all around the hopes of landing on a tried and true routine that they're just gonna be their go-to moving forward. They are very open to trying new hair care and styling products because they're always looking for something that might help them with a different style because you know they never keep their hair totally the same. Sometimes they switch it up from season to season. And so he's gonna to wanna to make certain that if when he's got a winter look and his hair is a little bit longer, how is he going to control and style that hair? Or if he's going for a shorter summer look, what are those products that are really going to help him throughout those hot um, months? So definitely a variety and experimentation is what lends him to being willing to listen to you, the expert behind the chair, on what you're recommending for him. So I wanted to, we, you know, you guys, we've been doing a lot of you know, um, advertising around this. Our business development managers are doing a lot of webinars and things like that. And a lot of questions have come up around the products. And I wanted to make certain that we really clarified this very well today. All right. We only are bringing in three brand new products, three brand new products. Okay. And those three products have a fresh new fragrances Everything else is the same great product with the same great performances. Some of the things that have changed a little bit about this is that we're utilizing new technologies. In the beauty industry, technology is power, and they are always uh, experimenting and understanding how products can be created and manufactured. And also, we want to make certain that we're putting in ingredients that the customers are attracted to. We, we know that there are a lot of buzzwords out there of um, unwanted ingredients. And so we took the time to go through every single one of the old existing men's solutions and grit products that we moved into this line and making certain that we removed any unwanted ingredients that are not really a part of what they want in their hair care products. Also, we have new and enhanced extracts in them. Um, but we want, but again, I'm bringing this back around that they are the same products with the same performance. Nothing has changed. And I know this because Chelsea Lindman, 
who actually is our brand um, manager around these products. I test everything. I swear every other day, she's like, test this one, test this one. And so I have tested more products on mannequins, on my grandson's hair, on my hair, on my son-in-law's hair to make certain that I feel like they match the old products perfectly. So we did a lot of research about it. So for any of you who have, have a little bit of concern that that is going to change, don't worry about it. We did a really good job with this. So what is Latitude by Great Clips? Let's, let's go through all of these products one by one to really make certain that we understand what it looks like. So we took the best sellers, the best sellers from Men's Solutions and Grit, and we move them into latitude, all right? Anything that did not move into latitude, they weren't big sellers. People didn't really, you know, gravitate to them. The male customer didn't gravitate to them. So I'm going to walk you through each and every product right now to make certain that you understand what was the old packaging and what was the new packaging. And I'm going to begin with a favorite. And that favorite is our um, spray gel. Spray gel is a favorite uh, for most of you. So this is the old men's solution packaging. This is the new packaging. And you can see that um, it's still in a pump. People, uh, the male customer is gonna really still like this because he can actually have that ease of applying that product. Another favorite that we have is our uh, leave-in conditioner. Now I know how much you guys love this leave-in conditioner, okay? So here's the old men's solution leave-in conditioner. And here's the new Latitude leave-in conditioner. And I know that a lot of you are using this product as a cutting tool. It is a great way to be able to apply this product prior to cutting, and it keeps the hair moist and wet so you're not picking up your water bottles 100 times. One of the features that I really like on this product is the new pump. I think you're all going to agree that that's going to make it a little bit easier at your stations when you're actually wanting to distribute that product into your hand. Now let's move a little bit into grit, okay? So we have our grit natural style. Okay, this is the old packaging in grit natural style. This was a huge seller in the grit line. And I know that you guys still love this product. And now this is what it looks like in latitude, okay? Same great product, okay? Now I wanna talk a little bit about our firm style. Firm style, and I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into PK on this stuff. But I just really want to make certain that we know that this is the old packaging. And now we're moving into this new packaging here in the latitude line. And then let's talk a little bit about our men's molding paste. So this is the old packaging here um, of the men's molding paste. And this is the new packaging right here. So we have this great new packaging. And it's still the same, same pumping system. Nothing has changed on this, you guys. So um, definitely it's going to have the same performance. Next, let's talk about our men's molding cream. Here's our men's molding cream, old packaging in the men's solutions. Here's the new one. And then last but not least, we have the pomade that was in the men's line. Again, popular product. People love this. And now we have moved this into the new Latitude line. So I hope that that was helpful, that it gave you a better understanding of kind of the transition and how we're moving through. All right, so let's talk about um, some of the things that were influenced by the research, and that is packaging. Packaging, again, we, we understood from the male customer that they wanted, um, you know, a darker packaging. So we have this nautical blue max masculine look. I love the look of this product line. And again, he said that he wanted that straightforward messaging that was easy to identify the product just by picking up the bottle and looking at it. So what you're gonna see is this beautiful, bold green line in the center or down towards the bottom of the product. And in it, it's gonna have the name in bold, pops right out, the key ingredients that are in the product. And you're gonna see that we have a new hold and shine matrix that has been placed um, there as well. So again, super easy for the men to be able to pick up a product and know instantly what it is just by reading the front of the bottle. And I think that that's really going to help you as well, because when you are educating and recommending these products in the chair and you're handing that bottle to him, point that out, 
show them. Don't worry about showing him the back of the bottle. Honestly, you guys, he's not that interested in it. He'll, he'll do his research a little bit more on his own later. Key ingredients. So uh, I, first, I would just want to let you guys know that in, in our old men's solutions and grit lines, some of these ingredients were already in there. They were already a part of it. But we're calling this out a little bit more because the research told us that our male customers are influenced by these ingredients. So some of the things that you're going to see that is now being called out, even though it may have been in the old formula, are vitamin B, Irish moss, hops, orange, nettle, aloe, thyme, comfrey, eucalyptus, and ginseng. Next, I want to talk about the sustainability. I think that oftentimes when I was talking to stylists about um, sustainability, sustainability packaging, we had a vendor that was bringing in this packaging. We launched it, I think, two years ago. And I can't tell you how many people pushed back to me and said, men are not interested in this. And I'm going to disagree with you. And I'm going to tell you why, because I have a lot of men in my life uh, that that sustainability is very important. When we think about kind of men in the larger world, they tend to gravitate towards outdoor sports, fishing, hiking, hunting. They tend to be in, on, in their boats, on rivers um, and lakes. And when you think about, or farmers who are out in the fields, like things like that, when we think about them in the environment, it's important to them. They're seeing garbage everywhere in these beautiful, pristine places, and they want packaging that makes more sense, that actually helps to minimize what is going um, into the landfills and into the production of it. And, and so we have post-consumer recycled packaging. With, this is made from items that consumers recycle every single day. Uh, then that recycled material is then melted down and it's molded into the new packaging. This greatly reduces a carbon footprint um, on our planet right now. And I think that we can all get behind that. Everybody is really seeing some of the issues that we're having with packaging out there. So we jumped on that bag wagon right away when it came to this new launch. So let's go into all of the products, all right? Let me introduce to you two of the brand new products that we're launching. The first one is our two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. So we know that men absolutely love convenience. And oftentimes when we try to sell them a conditioner, they're like, nah, I don't take that much time in the shower. So this really is going to help him have that shampoo and that conditioner all in one bottle. It keeps it very convenient. This product has vitamin B in it. So what does vitamin B do? It makes the hair thicker and fuller, okay? The key ingredients in this are thyme and Irish moss. Irish moss, a lot of us don't know this, but Irish moss is a seaweed and it is packed full of moisture and it really helps to hydrate hair and the scalp skin. Also, this product has, we've removed um, the parabens, so, I mean, this product is paraben, sulfite, and acetylate free completely when we created it. So the next product I want to talk about is our daily hydrating shampoo. Moisture, 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 moisture. That's important. You have men who have coarse, thick hair, or how many of you guys have gentlemen that are sitting in your chair, or even young teens, where as you're going through and you're cutting their hair, there's all this dusting that is happening on their shoulders. You guys, most of the time, that is not dandruff. That is dry scalp. And so you've got the perfect product to get into his hands to help him solve that issue. This product is perfect to use daily, and it actually hydrates the scalp skin and the hair. It has vitamin B in it. It has orange, and it has aloe vera in it. This is paraben, um, sulfate, and phthalate free And the fragrances are unbelievable. I have to tell you, I was washing the mannequin for this live um, and I used um, some of the hydrating shampoo and I was just blown away at the fragrance. And um, I think you're going to just love it when you get it in your uh, salons and in your back bar and being able to use that product on your customers. Next, I want to talk about our leave-in conditioner. Again, I've already showed you the packaging. I know this is a well-loved product. 
it same great performance it has in it biotin. Now we know that biotin, one of the things about biotin is biotin loves to go into the scalp skin and it goes down into the cortex of the hair, but also to the papilla. So biotin is, is all about strengthening. It really helps with making certain that um, the scalp skin is moist enough that hair breakage doesn't happen. Uh, jojoba oil. I love jojoba oil. Jojoba is an oil that is so lightweight that it literally soaks directly into the hair immediately and it doesn't leave the hair feeling greasy or oily. And then also this has sandalwood in it. This is, we now one of the things that we did do that we changed up in this was that we removed the parabens. Remember we talked about the cleaned up ingredients. So removing the parabens was really important from this product. And it is in the new PCR packaging. So that's that's a really great plus, I think, for this. Um, next, we're going to go into pastes and creams. Now, paste and creams are both a little bit different. A paste is something that actually encapsulates the um, hair shaft. And a cream tends to kind of soak in a little bit more, gets underneath the cuticle layer. And so when you're looking at a paste like our... Um, our men's molding paste. Let me just talk a little bit about this product. So we had a, another company that had a molding paste that was probably your all of your favorite product in the whole wide world. And when it was no longer available, we decided that we had to come up with one that matched it so closely that you guys felt really confident to be able to sell this product. And this is one of our number one SKUs that you guys consistently love. And so this is the same great product, but this is a paste. Pastes are all about really getting in there and creating a style, memory. This one has maximum strength. However, what I really like about this is that it has a touchable texture, which means he can put his fingers through his hair all day. And it's not like he's not going to um, mess up a style that is as quaffed as a gel. It has a no shine finish. It has poly stretch fibers in it, which offers great memory. And I think that when you're ever you're doing any kind of pop bang or any kind of pompadour, uh, that memory is really important so that his style lasts all day. Um, in it, it has the extracts of Irish moss, orange, and nettle. All right. So now I want to talk to you about um, our natural style. Now, I like natural style. I always have. And the reason why I like this is because I think that this is a cream that works really well for people who have fine hair. Um, and it doesn't weigh the hair down. It's very lightweight. It has a natural finish. It has a very loose styling, styleability to it. But creams love to soak in. So I always say whenever you're using a cream on a customer, if they have baby or fine hair, don't put in quite so much right away. Kind of see how the hair reacts to it and how it actually receives those ingredients into the hair. Um, you can always apply on more. Um, the other thing about natural style is that it has orange and comfrey in it. We also removed the paraben from this product. That was another ingredient cleanup that we did. And I don't know if you guys know this, and I could actually pull in, you, you don't have to, to think about this too hard. Men who have facial hair, they actually need styling because sometimes especially when it's really humid outside that hair can get really wiry and it springs out and it just needs a little bit of control so if you're thinking about a product that might be really good for him to use on his facial hair don't be afraid to recommend the um, natural style however i do want to make certain that you can see that if i'm going to recommend this to a man i'm only using a teeny teeny tiny amount of this first Okay, we don't want to get it so much on there that it's too heavy. So it's actually like a half a pea size amount, all right? Um, and that is perfect to be able to go in and smooth through his beard and to give him a little bit of manageability and control. All right, so let's go on to our pucks. Oh, I'm sorry, to our gels. So we have two gels, and we know that our men love our um, spray gel. Why do men love our spray gel? Same great product, you guys. They love this because they don't have to get their hands 
full of product. That's the number one, not the number one reason. They love the performance as well. But really men do like that conveniency factor of not being able to have to get their hands all flicked. It has a medium flexible hold. And for those of you who are using this for your flat tops, you know exactly what I mean. It doesn't get crispy. It doesn't get crunchy. It um, dries up really fast and it has a great memory to it. So the extracts that are in here are ginger root and um, aloe, all right? Aloe is going to help retain moisture. We know that oftentimes when we think about using a gel, gels tend to be really high in alcohol. And so the hair can get really dry from it. So having that aloe in here is the perfect ingredient to help him retain moisture in his hair. Also, this product is now paraben, sulfate, and phthalate free. So that is I, always a good thing. Now let's talk about Firm Style. So Firm Style, same great product, you guys. This is our strongest holding gel. However, I don't know if you guys know kind of the history or the ingredients of gels. Gels tend to be a shellac-based product, okay? And also it tends to have a high alcohol to it. This actually is a glycerin base ingredient product. So it does, it still has that great hold and memory, but it's not going to dry the hair out in the same way that other really firm hold gels are going to do. Okay. Also, the other thing that's great about our um, firm style is that it's blow dryable. When you go in and blow dry a style, you're not going to get any flaking from this at all. Um, unless you way overuse the product, but we don't do that, do we, you guys? We don't overuse the products. We show them the exact amount that they need to be able to style their hair. One of the things that we removed from this was um, something that's called DMD. Hydelation, I believe is how you say it. I'm not very good at saying that word, but this is kind of a buzzword that's out there right now, or hydination. That's it, hydination. It, it, it is a, an ingredient that really needed to come out of our product mix. And so we feel really good about moving forward with the removal of that. Again, this has the same great performance. It is paraben-free, sulfate-free, and phthalate-free as well. All right. Now we're going to get into our pucks. So I want to talk to you first about our molding cream. Men's Molding Cream is a very popular product. I know you guys absolutely love this, okay? This provides texture. It has a pliable hold. It has a natural finish. And our men love it because they can run their fingers through their hair all day. They can actually go in and switch up their hair. They put a little water on their fingers, go in and add a little bit of, um, of moisture, and they can turn it into a completely new look. So if he's going to work very conservative and wearing his hair down and he wants to go out and have a beer and he wants to pump up his front and add a little more texture. He can just add a little hydration and boom, it, it happens instantly. The products are the ingredients in here are comfrey, ginseng, hop, lemon, rosemary, white pine, and horsetail. I'm not going to go deep into each and every one of those. That's That would take me about an hour. Um, but we want to remember that this has the same great performance. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute because we've had some concerns about this product that I want to clarify before I, I leave you today. Next, I'm going to talk about our pomade. Now, I love our pomade and I always have. So again, same great performance. Nothing has changed in this product. This gives a polished shine that has a medium hold to it, you guys. It's not, you know, going to be so, and I always say it depends on how much you put in the hair. If he's really looking for a very, very slicked back look, then you can add a little bit more pomade to help him achieve that. Um, what we have in here is lanolin and hocks. Now lanolin, what I love about lanolin is that lanolin actually is going to offer or impart moisture into the hair. It's very um, moisturizing. If any of you have ever touched wool and you get a little bit of lanolin on your fingers, afterwards, your hands feel so good. Um, and so he's not going to get really dried out by this. Um, it, it's actually going to help his, his hair so that it doesn't get frizzy or fuzzy. And that's a good thing. Again, great, great product that we have. And then the last one is our new matte uh, texture clay. And I am going to show you how to use this product today. But let's go over a little bit about this product. This is a clay-based texturizer. Um, it is lightweight, probably the lightest weight 
clay product I've ever experienced before. It has a matte finish. What I love about it is it can actually control frizziness and fuzziness for those customers that have textured hair. Um, it creates texture in the hair and it has orange and thyme in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk to you about men's molding cream and I'm going to show you or demo for you the new matte texture clay. All right. So first I want to talk about molding cream. Molding cream is a product that, you know, we actually recommend in all of our product knowledge that it is something that you can um, just put right into, you know, damp hair, and then it's just an air dry product and you go. And that's what makes this such a great product. However, I don't know if any of you really realize that um, this product actually can use heat. And this is the question and the concerns that we've been receiving from organizations throughout the system is, is that still a part of this product? Because I've been teaching this for probably, I don't know, since 2013, you know, that you can actually apply heat. And what it does is it takes that product and it changes it completely from a loose styling cream that has this nice, you know, um, texture to something that has incredible memory. And how I kind of came across this was when I became the director of education for Salon Innovations back in 2019, I took every single solutions product home and I tested it and I tested it to the max. And when I was testing this product, I put a curling iron to it. I put a flat iron to it and I was shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, this is just crazy. What I found was that when I used a curling iron with this product in it, I actually created a roller set curl. And those of you, if you can go back to Kazi school, you, you remember this, a roller set curl with a curling iron. And that is like almost unheard of. And so I decided to start using this on my 90 year old mother's hair. I do her hair all the time. And we actually put the product in first, blow or dry it up 100%. And then I go in and I lock in her curls. I let it cool completely. And I only have to do my mom's hair once a week. I go every Sunday and I do her hair. And so it's a great product that's like a roller set. So definitely play with this. If you've never tried heat with this, I'm encouraging you to do so. All right, next, I want to go up into our um, matte texture clay. Again, I can't wait for you guys to get this product into your hands. Whenever I work with any kind of clay product, I always think that one of the most important things is not to be afraid to rub our hands and get some heat going on there, all right? Anytime you're working with a clay-based product, anything that has any kind of clay or wax or anything like that, the more heat that we have in the hand, the easier it's gonna be for us to actually manipulate this product and apply it to the customer's hair. The other thing that I think is really important is don't be afraid to put this on just lightly damp hair not wet, no wet hair. How dry it, blot it, do whatever you can. Dry it up with your blow dryer about, you know, until it's 40% wet or 60% dry, you know, and then apply the product. Why? Because clay-based products, sometimes they can be a little uncomfortable when we apply them in the hair and we want to make it really um, comfortable for the customer. All right, so once we get this product in our hands, start off little, a little goes a long way. Depends on the uh, diameter and the texture of the hair that you're working. And you want to work it until it's clear, 100% clear. And then just work this through all the way from the back to the front, okay? As you're doing that, and if you are feeling like you need a little bit more of the product, definitely don't be afraid at all to, um, you know, get a little bit more of that. Because as you are working with this, you're going to see how lightweight this is. It's super lightweight. And you want to make certain that you're getting that hold factor that you're really looking for for him. So don't be afraid to apply a little bit more if you need to. Now, I did experiment with this product a little bit. And I will tell you that I don't encourage you to blow dry this in at all. Okay. I just have to take a look at him and make certain I'm happy with what I got going on here. Why was that? I didn't like, I, what I didn't like about applying heat to it was that I felt like it changed the product almost too much. 
and it 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 actually had it it made it heavier. And that's really not what we want with this product. This is not about a heavier product. Um, and so I don't encourage you to blow dry this at all. So that is the new matte texture clay. And I hope that that helps you when you are going to start using it on your customers in your salon. Okay. So next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about some of the resources that we have to help you make certain that you have a very successful launch. First off, I want to just say that it is really important to make certain that you have a plan in place to move out your old grit and your old men's solutions. Um, at, for the stylists that are out here watching this, if you don't know what that plan is, talk to your manager, talk to your franchisee, um, your general managers, and kind of get yourself you know, abreast as to what's happening there. On the coming attraction poster that we have right now for March and April, you're going to see the kits that we have. We have a retail launch kit and we have a back bar launch kit. And of course the back bar is what you're gonna be using on the customers. And I do really encourage you to make certain that you set up a fun little PlayStation in the back so that you all get an opportunity to play with these products and get familiar with them um, and feel like you're going to be confident educating and recommending those to the customers. So check out your coming attraction poster right now. Also, out on the Salon Innovations website in the Resource Center, we have so much information for you. And how you're going to find this information, it's a little journey, but it's not much. You're going to go, there's a drop-down menu called Education. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to go to Product Knowledge, and you click on Product Knowledge. And then you're going to touch on the Latitude um, logo. At the bottom of the Latitude product knowledge page, you're going to see that there is the launch brochure, the in-salon kits that you can pre-order. Those forms are out there for you. There are planograms to help you set up your shelves with the new product, as well as you're going to find everything that I've talked to you about today in our product knowledge sheets that are out there as well. The last most amazing resource that you have at your finger, at the touch of a button. And I do want you to know if you have the availability to hover over any of these QR codes, that is your business development manager. Now our business development managers are doing such an amazing job with this launch. If you are an organization that needs help, reach out to them. They are there. You can find this map out on our resource center as well. And so, you know, if you are needing, you know, let's say you have questions about removing old products and how you're moving through everything, clearancing everything, they've got the information for you. If you want to learn more about these products, call them. They're there for you. They are all about this new launch and they want to support you and make the transition one that's comfortable and easy. I want to thank you all so much for being here with me today. I hope that you got some good information. I'm going to ask Ben now if there are any questions that I didn't answer, that if anybody has a question for me, Ben. Oh, there weren't any questions throughout the entire live. Awesome. That's amazing. Well, then I did a good job. So I'm going to end on this. So there are those of you that are here today with me live, but we know that you have coworkers that are behind the chair or they have a day off or whatever. I want to encourage you to tell them to go to the Salon Innovations YouTube channel. And there under the live tab, you will see this recording of this live that we just did today. And I encourage you to tell them to go out and watch it. I hope that you had really, um, Great, you got great information out of this, that this really cleared up any questions that you might have had around this, this launch moving forward. And again, I just want to remind you before I leave you, reach out to your business development manager if you have any questions, they are here for you. So on behalf of Salon Innovations, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Take care and goodbye.